Alright, what up YouTube? It's me again, your boy Mr. 21. Just got done with the Pro Tools 8 pitch shift. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, Fruity Loops 8 pitch shift. This will also work inside of Pro or Fruity Loop uh, FL Studio 7. Um, I'm not sure about 6 because I don't have it, but uh, you'll be able to tell once, once I get started, alright? So the first thing you want to do is record your audio like I have here. Um, and this is actually, uh, somewhat of a hook from one, one of my songs that I'm working on. I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you. Without. Up in the club, nigga sipping on my yak. Sipping on my yak, nigga sipping on my yak. Up in the club, nigga sipping on my yak. Sipping on my yak, right. nigga sipping so, on my yak. Nigga up in the club, nigga sipping on my yak. That's one of them. On my yak. Or, I'm sorry, that's the, uh, vocals that I have. Now, what you're going to do, I mean, this this is very simple. You're going to click on your vocals. Oh, let me uh, show you that real quick. All right. In your step editor. All right. You're going to you're going to find your uh, you're going to come here, find audio clips, whatever. Then you're going to click on it, okay? Once it clicks in, you all know you get this menu right here, okay? So, don't mess with this pitch up here. This isn't the pitch you want to mess with, all right? I have no idea what that does. Never really tried. All I know is that the time stretching is what you want if you don't want to lose your uh, your time timing intervals on your track. So, what you want to do, let me zoom in for you. is you just click on it and I drag it to this little second notch right there and then that's it and then I'll go ahead and play this for you up in the club nigga sipping on my yak sipping on my yak nigga sipping on my yak up in the club nigga sipping on my yak sipping on my yak nigga sipping on my yak nigga up in the club nigga sipping on my yak Sipping on my yak, nigga, sipping on my yak. Alright. And that's that. I mean, real simple. Now, if you're using uh, Pro Tools as well, and you're using Pro Tools 7, then what you want to do with this is upload your beat, whatever your beat is, throw it on the track, and um, bring all your vocals in here. Alright, they don't have to be completely edited or just your hook, okay? And because all I'm trying to do is, what I'm saying is, you don't want to make this more difficult than you have to make it. Alright, if you uh, throw in a vocal, you do the pitch shift on it, and then you try and take it back into Pro Tools and like time it up properly... It's probably not going to work that good. Um, so the best thing you want to do is throw all your vocals in, in here, or even just record them, okay? Play the beat, do your first hook, fast forward to the second hook, third hook, fourth hook, so forth. Alright, and then go ahead and throw your pitch shift on then. What that's going to do, because the timing of your uh, track is already synchronized to whatever the timing of that is then or the whatever the timing of your beat is it'll put a silence just a long silence all the way up in there um, to your second hook and then your third hook and so forth so wherever the verse is it won't play and then you'll just go ahead copy that in or uh, up, import that to Pro Tools let it go into Pro Tools or Cubase or whatever you're using, uh, Sonar, and put it at the start of the song and just let that sit there. And it'll already be in the proper position that it needs to be in. Alright? So, any questions, get at me. Check me out on YouTube. I mean, well, check me out on YouTube and check me out on MySpace, alright? MySpace is myspace.com forward slash Kid Grits, K-I-D-G-R-I-T-S.
I T S. Alright? Um, if you need a beat, get at me. If you just have questions about how to do Fruity Loop stuff, uh, get at me. But I'm going to direct you to someone else that knows a whole lot more about Fruity Loops than myself. Because I use Pro Tools and Reasons. But it's all up to you. Alright? Stay up. Go on.